Hello everyone, welcome to BIMModeler.com. In this tutorial, we will be discussing how to create access and security system in Revit. So we have to, like any other system, we have to have components as a family, such as it could be a fingerprint reader, it could be a card, uh, card holder, or it can be a uh, card reader, uh, key holder and card reader, and it can be a uh, photometric uh, detector uh, or you can see on the right side uh, there is a magnetic door holder so using this if somebody uh, breaks into the our rooms we can detect the presence and we will be able to um, uh, notify the people who wants uh, notifications it could be a police also and the system need to be controlled with the control panel what actions need to be taken with that let's start the revit and do our modeling i will be start placing some of the components from our uh, libraries um, we can start with some key holders um, or we can start with uh, door magnetic components we can go to system and electrical components which is a security component take that I have already loaded the family so let me go ahead and select a security alarm if some something happens we can notify the people so I like to keep it in the uh, uh, front side nearby the staircase one and along with the other side so if we needed we can place it we need to place the car reader uh, one on the inside one on the other side even you can place usually outside but in this case we can place it inside and outside the other component I'm trying to place is that uh, key card um, or say for example um, electric lock uh, which can be placed in the door uh, for the door locking and detection of door opening and things based on the access so uh, make sure that uh, the height of the door lock uh, which is on the uh, door elevation level like here with the 2000 and the remaining commands can be accessible human accessible height like 1000 to 1200 something like that you know that the panels are created for fire alarm and the other control panels uh, there is a multi uh, control panels also available in the market you can uh, simply open the family and save as the family as uh, a security and access control panel save the file and once it is done change the connector as a security load that into the project after saving You can place the family wherever you need, just placing here by the another panel. And you can see that there are a couple of other panels also available. Uh, as I said, uh, it can be a single panel which controls fire alarm, security alarm, alarm and as call is the same one. But in this case, we are using a separate panel for each services. Let's select component one by one and as similar to the other system you will be able to see a security icon on the top and click those and the panel you have to select but the panel names are not defined you have to go to change the edit type or you can give a panel name so whatever things it is feasible if you are not given the panel name you have to create the edit type if you have selected and given the panel name you will be able to select what is it in this case for example I'm selecting typing as S panel so now if I'm trying to create the circuit so electrical circuit the panel if I'm trying to see it will show S panel in this place the name not the type similarly go ahead and select all the other components and try to create it the last circuit will be defined in that place
as you can see that I have not created any wires if you need you can create the wires and usually it needs to be a separate layout but in this case our case I'm creating all in one views as power layout later time you can use the creating the new view and duplicate it use the visibility graphics and you'll be able to control them so thank you so much for watching and I'll look forward to the next tutorials and stay tuned and happy learning